A mutation is basically when a chromosome becomes damaged in some way, which usually happens when the chromosome replicates and something goes wrong during this process. This will almost certainly lead to some strange new characteristics. Like... Like having hair all over your body. Or having purple skin. Or like having two heads. Or indeed, having extra limbs, like this poor fly. Oh! Yep, let's make no bones about it. Nearly all mutations are very bad for the organism. Hmm. So if our DNA and chromosomes are so delicate, surely there are some external factors which could damage them or cause mutations? Right again. There are four major ones which make the chances of mutations much higher if you're exposed to them. And they are? Radiation. UV and sunlight, x-rays and some chemicals. These chemicals that cause mutations are called mutagens and cigarette smoke contains a lot of them. Oh. But there's another whole category of mutations that cause disease. These are often inherited. What? Passed down from parent to child? Yeah, via defective or damaged genes. Mm, give me an example. OK. Let's take a look at cystic fibrosis. This disease means that the body produces a lot of sticky mucus in the lungs and digestive system. That sounds serious. It is. But the interesting part is how a person gets it. You see, both parents can carry the defective genes, but neither of them will show any symptoms, and so they are said to be carriers. Mm, I'm not sure I'm getting this. OK, look. Remember that a child gets one chromosome from each parent? Uh-huh. Right. So let's say that both of these parents are carriers. This means that each parent has one cystic fibrosis gene, indicated by the small c, and one normal gene, indicated by the capital C. Looking at this table then, we can see the chances of these parents' offspring having the disease or being carriers. Oh, I get it. So the chances are one will be completely normal, two will be carriers, whilst the fourth will develop the disease. Right. But hold on. What if one parent has developed a disease whilst the other is normal? Ah, well that changes things, as you can see. Oh, OK. So all offspring are carriers, because they only have one defective gene. But none will develop the disease. Exactly. Another gold star coming your way. There is another type of inherited disease, and that's when the cell nucleus contains more than 46 chromosomes. More than 23 pairs? Yes. In the genetic disorder called Down syndrome, the child ends up with three chromosome 21s in their cells because the egg that is fertilised has an extra chromosome 21. So the child has 47 chromosomes instead of the usual 46. That's it. It may have an effect on mental ability or it might lead to the child being more susceptible to certain diseases. Wow. It's amazing to think that this tiny spiral, which is in every cell, is responsible for so much. <laughs>